Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I will show you how to adjust the wastegate basic boost for a turbocharged car. The car I'm working on today is a 2008 Saab 93 with a 2 liter engine. However, this procedure is the same for any turbocharged car, excluding variable veins turbochargers. Let's start by checking the wastegate valve for any leaks. I'm using a hand pump to pressurize the valve to 5 psi. If the valve holds the pressure for a few seconds, then it's considered to be good and we can proceed. Next, let's start by taking a note of which pressure this valve is opening. This valve is opening around 2 psi, which is still a good number. However, let's try to adjust it to 4 psi, which is the standard in most cars. I will replay it in slow motion for you to be able to spot it. And I will even freeze the frame where the valve opens. To have a better access, I'll remove the heat shield, which is secured by two 10mm bolts and attached to the turbo by a clip. Next, let's disconnect the valve pushrod from the waste gate itself. You will have to remove the C-clip and then pry the rod away. I'm holding a magnet next to the C-clip to prevent it from flying into the most hidden place. Apply some WD-40 and then hold the pushrod tip with a pair of pliers and loosen the skewering nut. By the way, you will need to perform this procedure if you have a low boost condition, other than a boost leak, or if you are hearing a hissing noise more frequently than what you are used to, under load. Release the push rod from the wastegate itself by pushing it aside. To increase basic pressure, rotate the push rod tip counterclockwise. Each turn corresponds almost to 1 psi. Count your turns in case you need to return to original setup. If you want to start from scratch, for example, if your basic waste gate pressure is 1 psi or less, rotate the push rod tip until the center of the hole and the waste gate pin are 2 mm away from each other, opposite to the direction of the waste gate opening. Then measure the pressure and adjust accordingly. You might have to move the waste gate away for room to rotate the push rod. Once you're done, attach the pusher to the waste gate and recheck the pressure. In this case, we achieved 3.5 psi, which is good enough.
Let's attach the C-clip, the heat shield and the hose we took off. In some cars you will be done by now. However, in most cars with adaptive boost pressure control like this SAP, you will have to perform adaptations. In this car, all you have to do is drive the car with third gear or higher and apply full throttle and keep it for more than 3 seconds. However, the RPM must be between 3 to 4000 RPM during these 3 seconds. Repeat multiple times for better results. Thank you boys and girls for watching. If you are not a subscriber, don't wait more.